The all-new 2025 BMW X3 face the facelift Audi Q5. Let's see which one is the best in the luxury SUV market. Both offer impressive performance, technology, and comfort, but which one reigns supreme? This in-depth comparison delves into the technical specs, performance capabilities, and features of both vehicles, highlighting why the BMW X3 might be the perfect fit for Greensboro drivers. The midsize crossover segment is the most densely populated in the automotive world, and it's easy to see why they're so popular. They reliably deliver car-like handling and fuel economy while providing plenty of space and versatility, making them ideal for families. The BMW X3 is renowned for its sharp handling and exhilarating driving experience. Its precise steering and responsive suspension deliver a feeling of confident control on any road. The standard 2.0L turbocharged engine delivers peppy acceleration and satisfying power while the available M performance models offer even more thrilling performance for driving enthusiasts. For both cars, the entry-level 2.0-liter engines are the most common choices on the used market, with many buyers opting for diesel power, too. Thankfully, in both cases, the X3X Drive 20D and Q5 40TDI. These are probably the picks of the range for most drivers. You get plenty of low-end punch to get these hefty cars up to speed without the harder revving needed by equivalent petrol engines to achieve. The Audi Q5, while offering a comfortable ride, doesn't quite match the X3's engaging driving dynamics. Many think its steering feels slightly less communicative, and its suspension prioritizes comfort over agility. The Audi Q5 does offer optional adaptive suspension that can improve its handling. Keep reading and you'll find the X3 and Q5 match each other almost step for step, leaving the exterior styling as one of the more meaningful differentiators between the two. You probably already know which you prefer but, for our money, we think the Audi's suit is a touch sharper than the BMW's. If the X3 and Q5 were schoolchildren, you'd have to separate them because they're definitely copying each other's homework. The cabin layout for both cars is remarkably similar, with a digital screen for the driver's dials, a dash top mounted infotainment screen, and physical controls below that for the stereo, climate and driving modes. If we split hairs, the X3's center console controls are a little more fully featured, but we slightly prefer the piano-style keys for the Q5's climate control system and its elegant thin-rimmed steering wheel. Both the X3 and Q5 offer a range of advanced technology features, with some unique options to each. Their infotainment systems differ, with the X3 featuring the iDrive system with a touchscreen and the Q5 utilizing the MMI system with a rotary knob and touchpad. Both offer common features like navigation, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, and a premium sound system. Available in both X3 and Q5, depending on trim, head-up display. Wireless charging pad, unique to the 2024 BMW X3. Gesture control. Fully digital instrument cluster with greater customization options, compared to the Q5's analog gauges in some trims, space and comfort. The BMW X3 accommodates to your needs. Both the 2024 X3 and Q5 offer comfortable seating for five, but the X3 provides slightly more space for passengers and cargo. Here's a detailed comparison. Comparing passenger space, X3 41.1 inches of front headroom, 40.3 inches of front legroom, 41.1 inches of rear headroom, 36.4 inches of rear legroom. Q5 39.5 inches of front headroom, 39.7 inches of front legroom, 38.0 inches of rear headroom, 38.0 inches of rear legroom. As you can see, the X3 offers a slight advantage in front headroom, 1.6 inches, front legroom, 0.6 inches, and rear headroom, 0.1 inches. However, the Q5 offers slightly more rear legroom, 1.6 inches. 
This might be a deciding factor for taller passengers who primarily ride in the back. Comparing cargo space. X3 28.7 cubic feet behind the rear seats, 62.7 cubic feet with the seats folded down. Q5 25.9 cubic feet behind the rear seats, 54.0 cubic feet with the seats folded down. The X3 offers 2.8 cubic feet more cargo space behind the rear seats and 8.7 cubic feet more with the seats folded down. This could be significant for those who frequently carry luggage, groceries, or sports equipment. Ultimately, the choice between the X3 and Q5 in terms of space depends on your individual needs and priorities. If you prioritize headroom and cargo space, the X3 might be a better fit. However, if you prioritize rear legroom, the Q5 could be a contender. It's recommended to test drive both vehicles to see which one feels more comfortable and spacious for you and your passengers.